the first toxic trait I think I have is oh my god I don't know why I decided to do this video <laughs> welcome back to our channel i'm hoping that um this camera thing you know looks good because it's my first time basically trying to set it up and all of that nice stuff but yeah today is a cheat chat get ready with me i am going on a lunch date with a friend of mine so today i'm exposing myself yeah i'm exposing myself because i'm telling you all about my toxic trait so let's get right into the video the first toxic trait i think i have is oh my god i don't know why i decided to do this video the first anyway the first toxic trait i think i have is wanting to blame someone when things go wrong trust me and i take responsibility for my actions and whatever but at the eat of um a situation the first thing that comes to my mind is who is to blame who what caused this i feel like i'm a very logical person so maybe that's why i have that issue but you know i have to i'm learning to now tell myself no tolu nobody caused this this was what happened that made this situation happen the way it has happened sometimes it's just about accepting that things happen things happen that we can't we can't necessarily say oh this person is at fault that person is at fault this is the reason why this thing happened let me tell you what happened of recent sometime ago like a week or so ago i went to work and um i got to know that there was there was something happening and they were doing some construction downtown i walked downtown so they were doing some construction downtown and so the train could not go beyond beyond a certain point and i had to i had to walk like i had to take a walk from where i stopped to my office so you know that's in the evening when i was coming i went on um calgary transit i went on their website to see how i'm supposed to get home and i was supposed to get a bus a shuttle bus from somewhere to from one point to another and it, long story short i got lost and i was like really tired and that day my director told me to even leave work like two hours before my normal time and i was happy that oh yeah i'm going home i'm going to go and enjoy my thanksgiving blah 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 i worked and worked for like one hour working working and trying to just navigate i called my husband like oh can you just describe blah, blah. it was just it was just messed up like i was angry and then i now downloaded uber back since i got my car i deleted uber because they are really terrible people they are terrible company anywho i downloaded uber and it's like instead of being stressed like this let me just take let me just take um uber back home i ordered uber the uber was like oh 10 minutes away five minutes away blah 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 i was waiting and waiting and waiting i called this uber guy he was ah he's very close to me blah 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 only for it to remain one minute waiting and this guy cancelled the trip i lost it like i was so angry and at that moment when i was angry the first thing that came to my head was whose fault is this why is this happening to me who is to blame and i started thinking of many things that could have that i could have done that i could have done differently immediately as i was telling myself that i was also you know reprimanding myself in my brain like you are not driving downtown because it's more expensive you pay for parking and all of that stuff so this is something that just happened nobody is to blame or let's say i blame calgary transit for messing up my day anywho so this is something i'm consciously trying to you know change about myself because it's not it's really i, I won't call it toxic yeah but it's really not a it's not a christian behavior or attitude to have towards life 
so my number two toxic traits though i've had people say oh no it's a nice thing don't think it's it's toxic to be like that is that when i meet people i'm usually so excited for them like so excited for them like not just for them like in my head when i meet someone that i feel like we vibe we i mean you are giving me ginger i'm giving you garlic and it's all good vibes like i just feel like yes this is the friendship this is the friendship that's going to last me forever this is the friendship that we are going to be able to do life together and i usually just like people like that and once i do oh my god like i can literally give you my eyes like I can I'm not I'm not stupid yeah but when I like someone I like them with my resources I like them with my time um even if it's a girl like a girlfriend like a girlfriend I'm thinking about you when I wake up like oh let me call this person let's gist or let me talk to this person let me make fun of them or whatever 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 like I am so excited for them and I'm always so open minded and like i i open up my resources my house my home to them and at the end of the day i'm learning i'm learning that it's not usually like that there are some friendships that they are just meant for a season not for a lifetime and now the thing is the fact that it's meant for a season does not make those people bad it just means that you are in you are walking a different path from each other you are walking you are running a different um, race and it might not do you good if you guys are together that's what it just means it doesn't have anything to do with them so now i'm trying to be careful not to you know over push myself to people or over like people especially when we are meeting for the first few times and just trying to be chill and just see watch them from afar and see if we have values that align now the problem i'm having is being able to balance um you know being careful and being paranoid because now I see people tell oh let's hang out let's do this and in my head I'm like oh I know the dude I know the dude because that's how we'll now be friends for two minutes and then things will now go wrong and I will now be unhappy about it because as much as I'm a I'm an extrovert I and I talk I express myself and all of that I feel like I'm I'm like I have a very soft heart I know some people on this place who would disagree with that. It's things get to me so easily. So now I'm always like, mm, stay on your own, stay on your own, stay on your own. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to, whatever it is, let's just, mm, mm, mm. So I'm just learning. I'm just learning to be able to balance it. You know, you can still be friends with people. Not friends. I mean, you can have a rapport with someone and not necessarily call them friends because at the end of the day in this our adult life hmm, labeling relationship accordingly is one life skill that will save you and by you i mean myself and you that will save us from unnecessary disappointment and and heartbreak because i have learned i i have seen it first and that friendship outbreaks are, is actually more more painful more hurtful than relationship boy girl heartbreak i don't know if i'm wrong just let me know like if from your own experience it has not been like that but from my experience like i've had i've had friendships that broke and i was devastated being vulnerable is not my one of my strongest suits because i really do not like it especially with friendship like i don't have a problem coming online or coming on youtube to tell you guys oh guys this happened to me i'm struggling with this but having a relationship with someone and i'm able to like tell them my deepest fears i'm able to tell them my shit like excuse the bad word i'm able to tell them like things i'm going through and all of that i feel like yeah that one is what i struggle with 
I'm not ashamed for people, internet people, to see me struggle. But for people beside me, for friends and family to see me struggle is now a problem. It's a problem for me. Like, I don't want you to see me in that light. But at the end of the day, God created for us to all have, you know, inter um, um, relationship with each other. That, that is why the cross is vertical and horizontal now i don't know which one is horizontal anyway one is pointing to heaven which means jesus came to repair humankind's relationship with god and then one is pointing this way which which means that jesus came to reconcile us like brethren like christians like like believers like we need to be in sync with each other so god is a people person god is a people person god god is a relationship person or god is a relationship being so basically these are things i struggle with and to think that i really really crave a group of friends and then you you're just doing great things together you are encouraging each other you are you are being there for each other like oh gosh like i really really love it and i crave it and i've actually started praying about it that god should order my step to relationships that would divine relationships like to people that would actually pull me closer to my purpose pull me closer to god people that i will actually be be there for i want to be that kind of friend that i'll be able to say oh um something something you've been stressed for the past couple of days i have um booked a hotel for you to stay for the next um three nights i've booked for spa and or let's go on a shopping spree and i'm able to do all of that like i want to be able to be that for someone and i want for someone too to also be that for for me because as much as i can stand by people as much as i love friendships when push i mean when shove becomes push i do not I do not hesitate to choose myself. Yes, I know how to be also friendship, also whatever. But when you push me to the point where I know that, okay, this relationship or this friendship is not going to proceed or progress to where it aligns with my values, I I can choose myself. For, hey, even my husband knows that. Like, don't bring, I as much as I want this to work, I want, once you start showing in, nonsense behavior i know how to pick up my slippers and what japa let me say number three or number four toxic traits the way i'm able to like people and just you know want to be with people the way i'm i am i i so much love friendship people and all of that once that friendship stops being mutually beneficial i can be so indifferent about you that you would question yourself you question the entire relationship before they like were we even ever friends and it's not like oh i'm intentionally trying to like mm, for me mm. but i would just not miss you I would, I would just not think about you do you understand like i would if I would just not think about it like it's almost like you never existed in my world so it's crazy that like it shocks me myself like how i'm able to move from oh this person is at a hundred and now this person doesn't even think about me or this person doesn't even this person is zero so i usually do not like getting to that getting to that point where i'm like that towards anybody or where i have that kind of feeling towards anybody so i feel like it's a toxic trait and at the same time i feel like it's just a coping mechanism that i have devised for myself to you know kind of just be able to put people in their place especially when people behave like people because they are people guys i hope my makeup comes out nice because i am so pressed i am so pressed for time i am like one hour or so late so the next toxic trait i think i have 
is wanting to be perfect wanting everything to be perfect like whenever i want to do anything it has to be in a certain way it has to be it has to just be perfect wanting something to be perfect it's not it's not a good thing we tend to think oh yeah it's good that you want it to be perfect blah 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 but it's your way of dealing with the fear of failure like so that is one thing i'm trying as much as possible to you know walk away from because okay like today now that i'm recording like i'm i'm not the neatest <clears throat> i'm not the neatest person you are ever going to meet i'm not the most organized person you're ever going to meet but i like my space organized like it doesn't have to be sparkling it but when if if this thing is supposed to be here i want to see it there that way my brain is actually able to be to work I mean it's not bad to want things to go a certain way but not being able to function because those things are not going that way is what is actually not good because at the end of the day we are all doing life and life as we know does not always go the way we want it and now shutting down everything just because oh this thing didn't go the way i wanted it so oh, guys in case we have perfectionist out there before i say i said perfectionist oh my god my english is getting terrible anyway in case we have perfectionist out there um i mean let's work on it together and just have it at the back of your mind that the fear of failure is what keeps most people in their comfort zone so and guess what doesn't happen in your comfort zone nothing grows in your comfort zone nothing adventurous happens in your comfort zone nothing different happens in your comfort zone so the fear of failure will only keep you grounded we only keep you grounded we only keep you on the low even the bible says yeah we are like a light on a hill that cannot be hidden blah 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 so that alone should you know help us to walk away from as well let me pop on my lashes so go out there go out and just do what god has called you to do don't wait for things to be perfect before you start because at the end of the day life happens only for or things happen only for people who take risks and taking risks doesn't mean that oh things will be perfect before you do it that's the reason why uh i'm taking my content creation a little bit seriously these days like i'm getting things that i need to make it work and all of that so guys i am beseeching you brethren go out there and do you the world is going to adjust and whatever it is you want to do you just have to do it you just have to start it you, youtube you want to start doing your first video will not be good your first 10 videos will not be good your first 20 videos will not be good so the earlier you start the not good ones the better i mean i'm not where i need to be i'm not where i desire to be but my first video if you want to watch it you can go and watch it was horrible and i'm not going to ever delete it even I, I i hope i will not ever delete it even when i get to where i want to be so that it will be a, um, some sort of inspiration to others who want to do the same thing your first video will not be good the first book you will write will not be perfect the first picture you post on instagram will not be will not be good the earlier you start getting um, over the not so good parts is it not better so guys we have come to the end of this video i have exposed myself and you know my toxic traits now so when you see me exhibiting any of these traits understand and also um extend grace to me because it is something i'm actually willing and actively trying to change and um 
i know this look is not as glam as i usually do here on the channel but because i'm pressed for time i just had to like really go for something subtle some not subtle but something simpler that than i would naturally do but in essence first step to getting better at something is actually being able to um recognize it and talk about it so i have recognized that these things are not so um good for me and um maybe the people around me as well so and i'm willing and i'm working on it and i am in i am i am encouraging you today to actually see, you know think to yourself do some soul searching and know what your toxic traits are and what you want to work on there is no pressure because at the end of the day we go all day all right so guys thank you and oh if you like um the quality of our video i'm still trying to get a hang of what i'm using and for people who don't know i'm using i got a canon g7x mark ii and that is what i'm using right now with my ring light so let me know if the quality is something you like or if there is a certain set and uh, setting I'm, I'm supposed to do anywho yeah so bye guys uh like this video comment and hit the subscribe button